Hello, I'm Brett Knowles from PM2 Consulting. This short vignette provides an overview of how we cascade strategy and in particular how we link it to team and individual accountabilities and even compensation models. The cascade principle is straightforward. We should be able to take a corporate level strategy map and as we cascade that down to say the business unit, we should be able to translate that strategy into what we expect from that particular business unit. Other business units will, of course, have different strategy maps and they will continue across the cascade. At the business unit level, we will repeat this. We should be able to cascade down at the next level, in this example, say the operations. And again, they have their own strategy map, which will be a response to what the business unit is expecting of it. Down to, say, for example, an assembly, maybe even a group, and eventually individual performance cascades from it. Now, you'll see as you go down this cascade, eventually the strategy maps change and become uh, dashboards and so forth. We're moving from strategic to operational uh, objectives and from operational objectives to tactics and tasks. You can learn more about these cascade concepts on other webinars. Now, what we should be able to do, of course, as we know, is link the processes and initiatives that support each strategy map next to it. So at each level of the organization, there are specific processes and projects or initiatives to support that activity going on. And again, if you want to learn more about this linkage, there are other uh, YouTube and webinars that cover that concept. Extending from there, we should be using uh, tools like driver-based -based driving and uh, planning and so on to begin building out the specific models behind each one of these levels and what is the plan that links up to the next level. That's a cascade structure. Now we're going to take a look at how that links to performance reporting. Each of these strategy maps, of course, become balanced scorecards with performance indicators on how each of those strategic, operational, and tactical objectives are being met. So if we choose uh, an individual for this case, or think of this as a team, we should be able to understand what that individual is accountable for, what metrics are associated with the group that she or he works in, and maybe even a level of corporate responsibility or corporate level objectives. And we should be able to take specific metrics from the individual, the group, and the corporate level scorecards that contribute to creating this individual's bonus report. In this way, we have the connection from strategy through the processes and projects to the specific individual and teams. If we change our strategic priorities or objectives, the scorecard will change and the specific metrics on this individual's compensation model will shift as well. This provides the agility inside the organization to respond to changes in strategic needs and quickly migrating that down to individuals in the organization. What doctors Kaplan and Norton in their first book described as translating strategy into action. These concepts and others are explained in more detail at pm2consulting.com.